what's going on everybody thought I'd make a video I was watching Patrick Bet David and Graham Stephan on uh, Ice Coffee Hour pretty good podcast about business and stuff and it was interesting to hear um, Graham Stephan talk about you know he's a really big YouTuber in the finance space he he really you know he's in this place where like he's being very successful but he's sort of like I won't even say burned out he's lost or he hasn't he lost his passion I should say he's doing well financially you know he's very he's a lot of money he's doing great people respect him you know and Patrick but David's giving him advice and I kind of relate to it a lot because when I hit certain you know financial goals I um kind of felt the same way and I actually sort of do which is kind of why I'm sort of into this whole spiritual thing you know I mean the whole point of getting here was actually not to be spiritual it's really just to have freedom with my family but it turns out you can only spend so much time with your family you got other things you got to do right other thing that takes more than just it's just a part of your life it's an important part but there's just other things that are going on and kind of what I think about a lot is how a lot of us are looking for something else not something else we're looking yeah we're looking for something maybe not something to replace but something to complement our life you know you know by nature we want to procreate we want to find a significant other we want to continue to genes we want to survive we want to eat but then after all those are fulfilled what do you do well i guess it's kind of where god comes in that's where bigger purpose comes in if it's not god it could be something else that is fulfills that kind of void it's an important void because you know we have everything we need like even if you're making let's just say fifty thousand sixty thousand dollars a year you're not making a ton of money you're not rich but you have everything you need and if you were to make from fifty thousand to five hundred thousand you still have everything you need and you know five hundred thousand to let's say five million you still have everything you need so it's, it's more like it turns into this game uh, and it seems like all roads sort of lead the, to spirituality and God for some reason. And I think, I remember knowing, finding out about this back in maybe three or four years ago, or realizing this when I was maybe 35, you know. And because I was thinking about what is it that, why, why do people believe in God so much, right? And this is me being my early 30s or mid 30s. And then you begin to think, I think about it a little bit because I'm in marketing and I think about our customer and who buys. And what happens is a lot of the time, when you get, as you get older, you are, you realize you're just going to die. Like you're not, no one makes out of life, makes it out of life alive, <laughs> you know? And as, as you start to realize the, the finite life that you do have, you want to believe it's it means something, right? Um, and I think that's important for all of us. It's, it's. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's just a nature. It's a new. It's a thing that we do. And for me, you know, like after I reach a certain financial goal, I'm sort of like, okay, well, what's next, right? Or maybe you hit a certain skill where you just make all this money, or you make all this kind of freedom for yourself, and you just feel confident in what you can do. What's next? And it becomes about family. It becomes about things outside yourself. You know, I, I remember reading the book, uh, The Power of Habit. They talk about Alcoholics Anonymous. And a big part of Alcoholics Anonymous is Christ, you know, uh, or believing in God. At the end of the day, it's not necessarily that you believe in God or you have a, a belief in spirituality. It's just really more, well, I guess it kind of is, but it's really more just believing in something bigger than yourself, curing cancer. You know, the life of your children, the life of the people that you lead, your company, what, the legacy. Like it's, you know, but in reality, all of it sort of doesn't matter as much to the people. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that I think what I know is that whatever it is you're into that is big and important to you, that's what's going to drive you. And if you don't have that, it makes for kind of a difficult life uh, it makes for a meaningless life uh, and life you know the thing is funny it's like you know what does life have to have meaning it, it, it kind of doesn't I guess if you think about it but and maybe there are phases in your life where life doesn't have to have meaning and you're fine but I think 
that as you get older, you'll find out that you do need meaning eventually. But if you can live without meaning or have flexible meanings, I think overall that's a better. I mean, the truth is, it me having no meaning is a meaning, right? Like if all this life that we have, this car that I'm driving, this business that I have, this, this family I have, if it, it doesn't really have a meaning. It's just whatever evolution or whatever. Then you know, I, it can be a sad thing to describe it that way. To others, it's not. 